<clears throat> Namaste and good morning, my friends. My name is Sharonda. Welcome to India House's 930 yoga class. <clears throat> Shall we begin about finding your comfortable seat on whatever position is beneficial to your body and honors yourself? I chose to elevate my hips on the yoga block. You can, of course, sit on the floor, crossing at the ankles. You can sit on the top of your knees with your hips on the heels. <clears throat> what is your, whatever is your per personal favorite uh, posture to begin your practice is where you begin. I like to sit on a yoga block because it's very beneficial to the spine, easy on the hips, and keeps me more in a vertical alignment. That's just my personal preference. You can, of course, choose what is, is beneficial to you. Wherever you are, take a second or two to place your hands on the top of the thighs, shift your body weight to right to left, get a sense of length in the spine, and then <clears throat> reach your chest back towards your hips. Align your head perfectly over the base of your hips so you feel a wobbly sensation of your head to know that I am stacked. Uh, bring your hands to connect, palms touch each other. Place the thumb on the chest, relax the elbows. Close your eyes, of course. We inhale together in through the nose. Expand the belly forward and then exhale together pulling the belly into the spine. And I'll begin with our morning prayer. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejas vina vati tamas to madhit vishabahai. Om shanti shanti shanti. Take your hands behind your back. The left hand grabs the right wrist, leaning back slightly. Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, fold the chest towards the floor, bringing the top of the head towards the floor. Being grateful, of course, for your life, the playful, the places, and the things that you've been able to accomplish in your life. Paying honor to the teachers, past, present, and future. And of course, being honored to yourself and your body. We inhale, returning the chest to vertical. We bring the hands in front of the belly, rub the palms together, make them warm, of course. Then bring the hand in front of the face, cupping the forehead around the eyes, the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the base of the chin and jaw, maybe the neck, the top of the shoulders, and of course, bring the hands, stacking them on top of the heart, <clears throat> rotating, spinning your heart in one direction, giving a little love to yourself, and then reversing that just to seal it in. Bring the palms in front of the chest in Namaste Asana here, and then gently lower your head, open your eyes with a couple of winks, looking at your fingertips, and then bring the hands on the top of the knee. As you're here, uh, place the fingers in front of the knees, arch your chest up and forward. As you're there, breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Extend your arms, face them forward towards your screen. Inhale, the arms go out and up, reaching through the length of the arms as you inhale. Interlace the fingers at the top. Flip the palms with the they face your ceiling. Keep your arms in front of your chest. As you <clears throat> exhale, twist the body to the right side. Pause. 
Inhale, center. Pause. Exhale to the right. Pause. Inhale, center or forward. Pause. And then exhale, lower the arms, reaching through the length as they return towards the top of the knees. Inhale, lift the palms, reaching through the tips of the arms, interlacing at the top, bending the elbows, hands to the ceiling, and then exhale, lean to your right, keeping your chest up. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach through the arms and through the fingertips as you lower. Inhale. Hands go behind the back, reaching through the arms. Lean back a little. Exhale, lean the chest forward, suck the belly in. And then inhale, arms go vertical. Then they exhale, lower the arms, reaching through the arms. Return the hands to the top of the knees. Turn your head to the left. As you turn your head to your left, reach your arm to the height of your shoulder, reaching through the fingertips, reaching the fingers through away from the chest. Start to wiggle your fingers, looking away strongly. Now make a fist by closing your fingers to the top of the palm. The palm. The top of the thumb connects with the top of the fingers. Now, a couple of wrist circles here to the right or behind you. And then reverse that rotation by bringing the fist circles forward towards the screen or to your left. Free the fingers and then open and close a hand a couple of times, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the arm gently to the base of the knee, to the top of the knee, and then turn your head forward. Close your eyes for a second here, just to notice the difference between the right and the left side, to see if you kind of release some, some, <clears throat> some tension from your neck and to the top of your shoulders. Inhale, open your eyes. Then extend your left arm at the height of your shoulders, way too far, way too far forward, just in line with your shoulder. Turn your head strongly to the right this time. As you're here, start to just wiggle the fingers, of course, opening the finger joints, waking the body up. Then we're making our fist by collapsing our fingers in our palm, the thumb connects with the top of the fingers, and we rotate away from us or to the left, to the back behind you, making your wrist circles. Now rotate the wrist so that the, it goes forward. And then free the fingers and open and close the palm of your hands a couple of times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reach through the fingers once more, keep the chest up, and gently lower the palm towards the floor. Turn your head facing your camera. Doing a little work on your neck. Of course, look forward towards your screen. Lean your head towards your right shoulder. Keeping your chest, of course, up, forward and up. Then your head returns to vertical. 
Lean your head to the left. And then head returns to vertical. <clears throat> Lean your head to the right. Head is to vertical. And lean your head to the left. Head returns to vertical. This time, turn your head to the right. And forward. To the left. And forward. To the right. And forward and to the left and forward. Now looking up and down, of course, look up and drop the chin as you look down, keeping the eyes open at all times. Look up. Look down. And look up. And look down. Returning the face to vertical, of course, and bringing that right hand behind the small of the back with the palm facing behind you. The elbow reaches away from the body, of course. You take that opposite hand, extend it out so that the palm faces away from you. Reach the hand up and over till you bend your elbow and the fingers touch the side of the face, the right side. Take a breath here, inhale, lift the chest. Gently steer your head to the left side of your body. This right shoulder, try to relax it so that the base of the shoulder blade goes away from the ear. You're just thinking about reaching your elbows away from each other keeping both sides of the body as long as possible so that you don't feel like this curve on one side. As you breathe, inhale into the right side of the neck. Exhale, try to relax that shoulder blade away from the ear. Keep breathing in and out of the nose, of course. Now gently turn your head towards the floor or to your left, just a little bit, and then Turn your head slightly towards the right. Turn your head more towards the left. And turn your head slightly to the right. The head, the fingers do not remove, move from the face. Turn your head to the left. And then turn your head slightly to the right. And then pause looking forward. When you're ready, take this left hand, release it from the side of your face, bring the fingers to touch the left side of the face and gently push your head till your head feels like it's vertical. Release that right arm from behind the back. Take your hands on top of your knees once more and relax the shoulder blades away from the ears. So you don't want your shoulder blades here. You want your shoulder blades down and your chest is forward and up. And you kind of want to feel a curvature in the base of your spine right above your tailbone. Just some helpful hints. Now we have to do, of course, the same thing on the opposite side. We take that left hand, we put, place it behind the small of the back so that the palm faces away from you. Oh, I'm sorry, right side. Take the right hand, place it. Yeah, right side, taste that right arm behind the back. Take that left hand up and over till it bends your elbow to the left side of the face. And I did that, of course, the wrong direction. So just return your head to vertical, switch it out. Left hand behind the back, right hand on the side of the face, gently steering the head to the right. It's an early morning. Sometimes we all make mistakes. It's just how you recover from them that makes the difference. Lifting the chest, of course. Breathing, inhaling, and exhaling out of the nose. We think about relaxing that left shoulder away from the ear, reaching the elbows away from each other, but keeping a sense of length in both sides of the body. 
We inhale through the nose and we exhale through the nose. We gently turn our head in the direction of the floor, which would be your right. And we gently turn your head uh, towards the ceiling, which would be to your left. To the right is just a small movement, movement, not anything too dramatic. And then to the left. To the right. And then to the left. Now take your, your head, return it so that you're looking more vertical or forward. Release that right hand from the left side of the face. Gently bring the fingers to touch your right side of the face and guide your head till your head is vertical or you feel a sense of vertical. And then release the palms so that the hands go on top of the knees. Take a breath here, inhale. And then exhale, pull the belly into your spine. One more breath here, inhale. And exhale. Let's do a little work with the motions in the muscles of the eyes. So you're gonna keep your head, of course, and your neck as still as possible. The movement, of course, is just gonna become from the movement of the eyes. So as you look towards me, towards your screen, take a breath, inhale, in through your nose, expand the chest and the belly forward, and then exhale, pull the belly into the spine. Look up, keep breathing deeply in, in and out of the nose. So take your eyes, look up towards your ceiling. Don't move the head or the neck. Look to the right. Look towards the floor. Look to the left. Look up. To the right. To the floor. And to your left. Look up, to the right, towards the floor, and to the left, and look up, and look forward towards me. Now reversing that rotation, of course, look up towards the screen, towards the ceiling, look to your left, look towards the floor, Look to the right, look up, look to the left, look down, look to the right, look up, to the left, to the floor, right, up, and look forward. Close the eyes. Inhale, and exhale. Dip your chin slightly and slowly open your eyes with a couple of winks. Free yourself from your seated position. If you're on a block, come to seated on the floor. Extend the feet forward towards your screen. As your feet are forward, bring your hands adjacent to your waist, bending your elbows. As you bend your elbows, arch the chest up and forward. Reach the arms away from the body. Shift your body weight from left to right. Return your body and chest to a neutral position where you feel more or less centered. Bring the legs so that they touch each other. Point the toes towards your screen. Now flex the feet so that the toes come more towards your cap, the tops of your, your uh, lower legs. Now point and flex. Point and flex. And point and flex. Keeping the feet together, rotate the ankles towards your right. Making sure the movement comes from the ankle joint and not from the toes. And of course, you're breathing in and out of the nose. Reverse the rotation. Inhale. 
Wiggle the toes a couple of times. Spread the toes. And then bring your hands to the left side of your, your to the right side of your mat. Shift your weight to your right hip and come to your standing position, of course. When you come to your standing position, we'll do some jogging, uh, simple jogging and jogging exercise to kind of warm the body up a little more. So bring your fists, bring your, and put them on the top of your chest, relax the elbows fully. We'll start by just simply jogging, just a couple of rotation right on the tips of the toes. Continuously breathe, inhale, and exhale out of the nose. You increase the pace by bringing your knees higher up. Still jogging on the toes. We lean the chest forward, bring the feet so that they jog and your feet are going more towards your tailbone. Knees forward one more time. Pick up your pace a little bit more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Gently stop your practice. Now, as your feet are facing forward, wiggle your feet so that they are more hips distance and your toes face forward. Bend the knees pretty, please. Bring your hands, your uh, base of your elbows on the top of your thighs. Relax the head. Inhale. Gently exhale out of the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out of the mouth. One more. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out of the mouth. Bring your hands on the top of your thighs. Let your head hang a little bit. Then straighten the arms, straighten the legs, returning to vertical. Bend your right knee. Step your left foot next to your right. Center yourself more or less on your mat. Bend your knees pretty, please. The tops of the hands are on the tops of the knees. No weight in the hands. This is just kind of like a brace to kind of keep your hands and your body from going different directions. Rotating the knees towards your right, keeping your chest up. As you keep your chest up, think about your hips going back towards the back of your mat or towards a wall if you're in front of the wall like myself. Rotate the direction of your knees to the left. And then straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Wiggle the feet so that they're more or less hip width. Bring your hands up on your natural waist. As you're here, you breathe. Inhale. Exhale, push the hips towards the right, tilt the chest towards the left, push the hips to the left, tilt the chest to the right. To the left, to the right, to the left. To the right, your weight is in your heels, your chest of course is up, and to the left. Returning the body back to vertical, we push our hips all the way, our body weight all the way, way to the right, turn our chest towards that right leg, lift that left heel, and just squeeze the glutes, squeeze that left tail, portion of your tailbone as you breathe, and then heel to the floor, shift your body weight more to the left side of your screen, turn your chest towards the left, and lift that right heel, squeeze that right glute, and release. Wiggle the toes and the feet so that they are touching. As you're here, bring your hands in front of your thighs. Inhale, lift your hands, lift your arms forward and come to your toes. Exhale, heels to the floor. 
Gently lower the arms. Inhale. Coming to the toes, arms go up and forward. Exhale, heels to the floor. Inhale, coming to the toes, arms go up and forward. Exhale, coming to the floor. Then inhale, pause here. How high can you get your heels? And then exhale, gently lower. Bringing the hands so that they interlace in front of the heart. Relax the elbows, of course. Inhale, extend the arms up and forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. The palms come to the heart. Inhale, arms up and forward. Exhale, bending the elbows, coming to the heart. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now keep the palms where they are. <clears throat> As you're here, breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Extend the arms toward the height of the shoulders. Way too high, of course. Way too low. Directly from the shoulder joint. Keep the feet facing forward. Reach through the length of your arm. Inhale. Exhale, twist the body to the right. Looking over the right shoulder. Inhale. We return vert forward. Exhale, twist the body to the left. Inhale, forward. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, forward. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, forward. And gently release the arms. Stepping the feet so that they're slightly apart, just a little bit, just so that if you were to bend down, you could put your hands in between your feet. Bring your hands along the length of your leg. Inhale, extend the right arm to the height of the shoulder, palm faces the floor. Exhale, flip the palm. Inhale, keep inhaling as you bring that arm adjacent to the right ear, reaching through your fingers. Reach, reach, reach towards the ceiling. Exhale, lean the body to the left for Arda to cross the neck. And then inhale, return the body vertical. Exhale, lean the body to the left. Inhale. Exhale, lean to the right. And be here. Breathing in and out of the nose, keeping more of your body weight towards your heels. And then your next inhale returns you to vertical. We exhale as we lower our arm towards our height of our shoulders, flipping the palm as we continuously in, exhale all the way down for a lateral side bending pose. Other side, inhale the left arm to the height of the shoulder where the palm faces the floor. Exhale, just take an exhale here as you flip the palm towards the ceiling. Inhale, extend the arm up till it meets with the adjacent the side of your face, if that is possible. Exhale, lean the body towards the right. Inhale, return the body to vertical. Exhale, lean the body towards the right. 
Inhale, body becomes vertical. Exhale, lean the body to the right and be here. Breathing gently in and out of the nose, of course, expanding the belly forward in your inhales. And then exhale, pulling the belly more into your spine. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Your next inhale returns the body to vertical. Exhale, we lower that arm. When we get to the shoulder height, we flip the palm, continuously exhale out of the body. Get a sense of length in your body as you're here. Reach your fingers towards the floor. Reach your shoulder blades apart. Push your hips back towards your heels. Feel the tops of the thighs turn on. Breathe in and out of the nose just to see the effects of the practice thus far. Now bringing your hands behind the small of your back. I'm gonna to turn to my right so you can see what I'm doing. You can turn to your right as well, or you can just continuously face forward. You bring your hands back in the sole of your back. I like to put the base of my thumbs on the lower portion of my spine. You can, of course, fingers can point towards the shoulder blades. Fingers can point towards my hips. But you have to be aware that anytime you, the position of your hands changes the position of your shoulders as well. I like to place my thumbs so that they face each other and wrap my fingers towards the front of my body where my belly is. I reach my elbows away from the body. I get a sense of length in my spine. I push my hips slightly back. I arch my chest. Ardha Kati Chakrasana or half wheel pose. We inhale, push the hips forward, and lean the chest back, exhaling. Inhale, return, push into your feet, return the body to vertical. Exhale, push the hips forward, reach the elbows away from the back, push the chest forward, relax the head. Inhale, return to vertical. Exhale, push the hips forward, push the chest forward, lean the head back, don't strain your neck, and be here. Reaching the elbows away from the body, reaching the chest forward, the hips, and the way that they are in the heels. Our next inhale, return this to vertical. Slowly dip the chin, and then let the hands release adjacent to the sides of the legs. Now, whenever you lean your head back, just a helpful hint, be very aware of the position of your neck and straining your neck. You don't want to feel like the one can't breathe and you don't want to feel like you're compromising your spine. Whenever you do forward and back movements, be very aware of how far your head hangs so that you don't feel like there's a compression in the base of your neck. And when you return to vertical, Sometimes you can dip your chin a little bit, lower it to make sure that you're not compromising the integrity of the bones of the neck. Just some helpful, some helpful tips. Face your forward of your, face your body so that it faces forward of your screen. Shift your weight to your right leg. Push your weight back more towards your heels so you feel your right foot slightly lighter. Now press into your entire foot to straighten your right leg. Extend that left leg forward and back, swinging the leg in a natural uh, leg swing. Just a couple of times, keep that standing leg straight. And of course, breathe in and out of the nose. Our last swing comes forward, we bend that knee. We catch that knee with the left hand so that the fingers face your screen. Relax that foot for the balance aspect of this. Single leg balance. Breathe, focus on something that is not moving. Keep that standing leg straight. A helpful hint for balance for me, 
helps to push my knee in towards my hand and pull my hand towards my knee. Gently guide that knee to the left of your screen. Keep that foot relaxed. And then return the left to forward. Hopefully you're still in your balance. Three, two, and one. Let that foot return to the ground. Maybe you shake out the standing leg, maybe a couple ankle circles. Sometimes it's helpful to me. And then the other way, of course. Now shift your weight, of course, back to your heels. Keep the chest arch. Your hands, of course, are back on your natural waist. Shift your weight to the left leg and more toward the heel of your foot and press into your entire foot to straighten that left leg if possible. If that's too much, you can slightly, of course, uh, bend the knee, but you want to feel like the muscles of the legs are engaged. Very helpful with the balance. If balance is still an issue, of course, you can put a fingertip on the wall. That will be most helpful for you if you feel like you keep falling. Shift your weight into your heel, press into your foot, straighten that left leg, and then natural leg swings with the right, front to back. Keep your chest up as you breathe. And this is also a, you know, a leg balance or a balance, but you're just moving. So you're doing motion balance. Then your last one, forward, bend the knee, catch that knee, that right knee with that right hand. Relax that foot. Push your knee into your hand, pull your hand towards your knee, but keep your hips more back, back towards your heel. Keep that leg straight. We gently guide that knee towards your right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now return the knee forward. Gently release that leg towards the floor. Maybe you shift your weight to the right side and ankle circles, of course, and that leg and then ankle circles to the other side. Prepare yourself for Utkakasana or chair pose. You can bring your feet. I'm gonna turn my body, of course, to the right so you can see what I'm doing. The feet are, you know, spaced slightly apart for to add for, uh, so that you have more of space between the legs so that your knees, you're, we're gonna work a little bit of the legs and you'll see what I'm talking about because it sounds kind of strange. As you're here, we, we're going to start with just getting the motion of pushing your hips back for your chair. So take just the two tops of your fingers, push your fingers into the tops of your thighs, and reach your tailbone away from the front of your body. Just get a sense of that. Now, as you're here, arch your chest from that position. So your hips are back, your chest are ar arched. You feel a little curve in the base of your, your spine. Very good and very good, beneficial for your posture. Keep that action. Place your hands in front of your, your thighs. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Extend the arms forward and up towards the side of the face. Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Hands return to the tops of the knees. Exhale, bend the knees, shift the hips more back, keep the trunch arch, push the knees away from each other, turning on the legs more. Inhale, straight arms, straight legs. Exhale, bend the knees, push the knees apart. Knees don't come in towards each other. You turn on the outside portion of your legs. Exhale, or inhale, I'm sorry. Straight arms, straight legs. One more time, Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, lift the chest, push the hips back and the knees apart and be here. Breathing in and out of the nose. And exhale in and out of the nose. Our next inhale, 
returns the body to vertical and the hands as well. Take a minute to step your feet, the width of your hips, bring your hands behind the back. Close your eyes and breathe in and out of the nose just to assess the difference in your body from when you started to the practice and where you are at this point. Inhale. And exhale. Let's inhale. Expand the belly. Bring the inhale into the chest, the face, the top of the head. And then exhale, let that exhale completely go until you feel like it reaches your feet. Inhale, it's take the inhale to the belly, to the chest, towards the top of the head. And then exhale, pull the belly in, completely exhale till you feel like that exhale goes to your feet. Gently dip, <laughs> gently dip your chin, open your eyes, return your head to vertical with a smile on your face. Excuse me, guys, I must be having a little allergies. My, my voice is going. Coming to the top of your screen, the uh, top of your mat, of course, taking your feet so that you have a little space in between the, the feet or preparing yourself for Pada, Pada Hastasana, forward bending pose or head to feet pose. As you're here, we place the palms in front of the thighs. Inhale, extend the arms up and forward. Exhale, push the hips back as you bend forward. You can keep your knees bent if you need them and your hamstrings are too tight. Inhale, reach the arms adjacent to the face. Reach them away from the tailbone. As you return the body, to vertical. Exhale, forward fold, push the hips back, push the knees apart. Keep your knees bent for this round. Relax the head. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Big inhale. Exhale. Hips go back, bend the knees, knees press to the outsides of your mat, and then forward fold. This time, just be here. Reach the hips back, relax the chest and the head. If you feel dizziness or have high blood pressure issue, of course, lift your head higher than your heart and reach your head away from your tailbone. Nobody passes out. Breathe. Three. Two and one. Reach your hands forward adjacent to the face. Return the head and the body to vertical. Big, big breath. And then exhale, lower the hands to the palms face the top of the thighs. And bring your hands to your natural waist. Step the feet apart. Tick tock your head left to right. And then return your head to vertical. Let your hands relax. Coming to the floor this time, keep your, head, your feet wider than your hips. As you take the inhale, reach your arms up, forward and up. Exhale, hips go back, bend the knees all the way. And then your hands touch the floor. You step your right foot back, knee comes to the floor. You step your left foot back, knee comes to the floor. Palms are on the outer corners of your mat. Make the knees a slightly wider than your hips. The tops of the toes would connect to the mat. Keep your arms straight. As you're here, arms are straight. The, the inner portion of your elbow faces forward. Keep your arms straight. Try to Push those shoulder blades down towards your hips and the shoulder blades apart. Keep your heart higher than your 
uh, the base of your shoulders and keep your neck looking more or less forward of your pants. Now shift your weight right to left. And gently let the belly kind of relax in the direction of the floor. Think about an arch at the base of your tailbone. So you feel more of a curve here, more of a heavy feeling in the belly going towards the floor. Resetting our posture. Now pause in the middle here, push into your hands strongly, then take your hands about one handprint in front of your knees, turning the fingers the wrong direction, and then take that other hand in the same manner. Now, if this is too much strain on your wrist, we're just stretching out the base of the wrist, bring your hands more or less forward, and then flip your palms here. You can keep your hips up, you know, doing this process. If you want more, you bring your hands closer to your knees and you can sit your hips more or less on your heels. But wherever you are, of course, you breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Bend your elbows slightly to get a little bit more. And then release the base of the hand towards the floor. Gently flip the palm, starting with the right, till they face the ceiling. Your, the base of your forearm comes to the floor. Wiggle out your fingers a couple of times. And gently walk your legs back till you're on your belly. As you're here on your belly, the tops of the toes connect with the tops of the mat. The palms face the floor. Your, your arms are parallel. Pull the chest towards your hands. And then relax. Pull your chest towards your hands. Just decompressing our spine. And relax. Pull the chest towards the hands. And relax. Fold your elbows in so that you have your right forearm in front of your left. Walk your elbows so that they are forward of the shoulders. Pull your elbows, your chest towards your hands. Turn, shift your chest towards the right and lift that left leg and release. Shift your weight to the right, pull your chest forward, lift that left foot and release. Once more, shift those to the right, lift that left hip, let it, and release. Shift the weight to your left side of your swing, and lift that right leg, and release. Shift to the left, lift that right leg, and release. To the left. And release. Gently make your arms so that they're more or less parallel to your mat. Extend the arms forward till your belly hits the floor. We take an inhale, reach through the hands, lift the lower legs, raise the chest, and then exhale. Inhale. Lift both legs, both arms, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower, and relax. Coming into Macrossana pose, our hands stack on each other, our chin goes to our tops of our hands. Bend the knees pretty please, tick tock the feet, right to left. Pause in the middle and gently lower your feet to the floor. Extend the arms forward so that the palms face the floor. 
breathe. And gently roll to one side onto your back. Align yourself with your mat for our resting, closing out our practice. Bring your legs so that they touch, bring your arms so that they touch the sides of your body with the palms facing the thighs. Tighten your feet, point your toes away from the body. Tighten your ankles, tighten your calves, tighten your legs, tighten your glutes, tighten your abdominal muscles, tighten your arms on the side of the body. Tighten, 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 tighten your facial muscles, tighten, tighten, tighten everything that you can possibly tighten. Keep breathing, keep breathing in and out of the nose. Big inhale, exhale, release everything. Let the body relax. Let the feet relax so that they part as well as the hands so that the palms face more or less towards the ceiling as you breathe. You inhale from the lower portion of your legs, your toes, up throughout your legs, expand the belly towards your ceiling or outside. Keep inhaling as you bring the breath towards your face and the top of your head. And then exhale from the top of your head, letting the breath go all the way to the tips of your toes. We inhale our deepest breath possible, expanding the belly towards the ceiling, towards the top of the head. And we exhale. We inhale, expanding the belly. And we exhale. As you inhale, think about your skin. Relax the muscles underneath your skin. Then when you exhale, feel your bones heavy to the floor. Inhale, feel your skin, the muscles, relax them. And then exhale, feel like your bones are heavy to the floor. Inhale, feel the skin the muscles, and then we exhale, feel the bones heavy to the floor, feel a lengthening sensation in the body as you start to feel the bones lengthen and reach apart. Relax the muscles of the face. Relax the back of the, <clears throat> the jaw. Relax the tongue away from the top of the mouth. We take a big breath together, inhaling from the tips of our toes, through our legs, our belly, our chest, to the base of our throat, keeping our throat wide open towards our face. And then we exhale, letting the exhale happen towards the tips of our toes. Gently start to bring life back into the body by wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers, making gentle motions and movements with your arms and your legs. Take a breath. Exhale. 
Take your arm along the length of the floor like an angel and reach your arms behind the head for a full good morning body stretch, reaching the fingers away from the toes, pointing the toes away from the hands. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, roll onto the side that faces your camera or towards your screen. Resist the urge to wrap the spine, gently bend the knees. Place your hands on the floor in front of your chest and come to your seated posture to close out our practice. Let's just take a, a moment here to do a round of uh, <clears throat> full yogi breathing. We'll take our fingers, we take our thumb, the thumb touches the top of the corner finger, relax the hands on top of the knees. Close your eyes. As you inhale, expand the belly towards the screen. And exhale. Inhale, expand towards the screen. And next. One more breath, just like that. Inhale, expand the belly towards the screen. Arch the chest. And exhale. Bring the palm to, to connect. Your thumbs connect to the center of the heart. Arch your chest up and forward. Let the shoulder blades relax as we close out our practice. Inhale together. And exhale. Om. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Sarve Santu Naya. Sarve Bhadrani Passion to Makachit Dukkha Bhavane Om and Free Shantis Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. My name is Sharonda. I thank you, of course, so supporting India Houses and their 930 classes. I thank them for their support. And I, of course, thank you for honoring your body and taking care of yourself this Saturday morning. Stay well, stay happy, take care of each other. The divine light in me honors and loves and respects the divine light in each and every one of you. Have a beautiful, joyous rest of your weekend. Namaste.